vehicles. So we'll go through and give you some tips and tricks and just some overall information about your camper. You might not have this exact model, but they're all going to be pretty similar. So I think you'll this will help figure it out. So if you want to come over here, I'm going to show you the main control center. You know, mind the noise. We do have the air conditioners up today because it's a whopping 110 degrees outside, I think. Um, over here is your main control center. So if you push this button, there's a thing that lights up. You can see the battery is full. The fresh tank is empty. Black's empty. It says black too, but these boards are generic. So even though this only has one toilet, which is your black tank, it only has one that it's ever going to fill up. So that one's always going to be empty. Um, so just kind of ignore that. Also, just keep in mind, a lot of times the floats and things will start sticking on your black tank. So when you do use the toilets, what I would tell you to do is make sure and always keep water at the bottom of them. So you'll hold down the toilet um, flusher a little bit, fill up the toilet bowl full of water, flush it down once, second bowl full. A lot of people use those drop-in tabs. Make sure they dissolve, then clean with them, whatever, then flush it. So at the bottom of your black tank all the time, you keep water there. And then if you use toilet paper, you want to use extra water there too. And so that'll help this read more correct longer hopefully but you kind of have to take this with a grain of salt but otherwise it'll also keep things uh, from drying up or having problems in your black tank so just a little black tank note while we're there the gray tank is your cleaner water so it's going to be your wastewater but it's going to be for your sink and your showers so on your gray tanks um, they fill up really quickly people don't realize how much gray water they're actually using so when you take a shower, you're gonna to wanna to turn the water on and then shut it off, get all soaked up, everything, turn it back on, rinse off and everything like that unless you're full dump sites, okay? Um, you will fill it really quickly. You're gonna know if your tanks are full because your shower's not gonna drain or your sink's not gonna drain. So just keep that in mind. Extra water in the black tank, less water in the gray. Over here is your other controls for your water heater. So you, this water heater on this one is gas or electric. So if you are going to be plugged in all the time, I would just leave the electric on and just run off that way. If for some reason um, you need to adapt down to a 30 amp site and you want to try and see if you can run both your air conditioners, um, I would advise you to switch the water heater over to gas. Um, if you're going to dry camp and just run a generator, sometimes you're going to run it off of gas because it'll run even when that generator is not running. And if you want it to regenerate quicker, you can actually run gas and electric at the same time. It'll regen quicker if you have a full dump site. So some options there. On your water pump, so you can turn that on and you can leave it on. It'll pressure up. You only need that water pump when you're pumping out of your fresh water tank. So if you have a hydrant connection and have city water pressure there, you'll never need to turn on this water pump, okay, because you have that pressure. The pump is just going to pump it out of the tank. Do not turn this water pump if on if you don't have any water in the tank, but you can leave it on if you want. I like to shut mine off because I'm kind of paranoid, and then also at night it's not running back and forth, so I just turn it on when I need it. You can do it either way. Here are your controls for your slides. So your glide in room in and out here. These slides are cable driven, so you can stop them part away if you have to or anything that way. Um, they're just really easy to use, um, but always make sure they're always all the way in or all the way out when you're parked so they seal a little bit better because sometimes um, if you're super on level and don't have that quite all the way shut, that water can drip down and things like that in there. So just all the way in or all the way out is my advice to you. On the awning, extend and retract. You can just hold down extend, the awning's gonna come out. When it comes all the way out, a little flappy's gonna fall down. When, and then that's when you know you're, you're to the end. Make sure after it is extended that far out, you hit retract and bring it back in. Otherwise, it's gonna roll inside out, inside itself and hold water out there. Other glide in room. Um, this is uh, over bright light there. Um, you have some other lights here for your main controls on your ceiling. And then a lot of times these are the night lights down here. Um, over here is your temp control. So that's your central heat and air. You can mode through your fan on auto, furnace off, um, speeds here, low or high, and temp up and down. So pretty easy there, okay? Um, on your other air conditioner in here, you can see this one is on its own. So the other one's ducted all the way through. It's a bigger air conditioner unit, it's 15 KAC. This is your 13.5 direct dump in here. So if you want to freeze to death at night, you have that option. What I would suggest to you so it doesn't freeze up is kind of run your cold, not all the way, as cold as it goes, maybe off a little bit. So if it's hot and humid outside, it's less apt to freeze up. That'll keep the fan running even when the AC kicks off. You can open and close these how you want to dump here, move these around. And then these and both of your air conditioner vents, you can take them out and they're just washout filters. 
So if you guys also, on the outside, if you have a lot of dirt or cotton in there or anything like that, you're gonna wanna make sure that your top of your ACs don't build up that way either. Um, everything's pretty self-explanatory here. You do have the USB ports up on there. You do have um, storage space underneath your bed. And these lights are just push button on the light. Okay, so we'll go over here to the bathroom real quick. Um, pretty self-explanatory here. Here's the toilet like it was talking. Just barely hold that down, fill that up with water. Um, you do have a GFI reset here. So if some of your plugins quit working, I would try to hit the reset there first. You're gonna have a 110 system here and a 12 volt system. So your 12 volt, which is your battery, it's gonna run everything, including your lights, um, it'll run your slides, it's gonna run your water pump, it'll run the gas side of your water heater, it's gonna run your radio, and it'll run your fridge on gas. Um, your 110 side is going to be uh, your anything that plugs in. So your air conditioner, your microwaves, things like that. So they're two different systems. 110 will be for your breakers, 12 volts is gonna be for your battery. On your refrigerator, oh, that's nice. We better get that back snapped on. And so just, just so you saw that, I guess, things are going to happen with a new camper, okay? So usually it's little stupid stuff like this it's just kind of more of a pain than anything else just have to put it back up there but it hasn't been shaken down the road that much okay and it hasn't been used a lot so it kind of needs to work into a place where it needs to be biggest thing is if things do happen step back take a deep breath try to troubleshoot it yourself um, google it whatever if you can't figure it out text us call us don't yell us yell at us i didn't build it i didn't do this to you on purpose but just know things are going to happen and just expect it usually it's never even a big deal so just heads up over here on your refrigerator on off control there um so if you pop it up it's on gas only so like if you were one that was going to run it going down the road or if you're not plugged in you can pop that up and have that go on gas push it down it's auto so right now we're plugged in it's going to run off um, of the plug-in and then when we unplug it should automatically switch if you don't use your gas system a lot it may not automatically switch so if you know you want that auto mode to work i would go ahead and run your stove for a little bit make sure those gas lines are all purged out and go from there. So on your stove, you just turn that over there to light and then stick light it. So our gas isn't turned on right now, but as you can see, that lights up there. When you light your stove, you actually have to turn it here and you have to hold in for that gas to come out and then you just spark it right here, okay? So real easy there. It left me a surprise in there. Um, on your, back to your fridge here real quick. Uh, the light will light up when it's on. There is a little thermostat in the back. So if that little cord falls down and your fridge isn't getting cold, that might be why that is your thermostat in there. Try to keep this stuff away from the fins. Keep good airflow in there and movement and everything like that. And it'll cool and heat or cool better. Um, fireplace is nice. It is 110 and it will put out heat. It's just like a space heater, so that's awesome. Radio's right there. It has a zone one and two. You got indoor and outdoor speakers. You can do Bluetooth, all that fun stuff. You know, tie back on your TV, but you can do satellite or cable or most people just because sometimes those are a pain to try to get to pair right and everything like that. Um, and the internet's so good now, most people are using like the Roku's or Fire Sticks and just using a hotspot off your phone or whatever that way. So this is a fold-out couch. You do have the space underneath that. Um, these are lay flat recliners. This can come out here if you want to. And if they do hit the back, just pull them out a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there's no carpet in this unit, which is awesome. You do have secret storage spaces underneath the chairs. Um, and then this is your fuses and breakers and everything that way. So um, pretty simple, okay? Uh, any questions, feel free to let us know um, or if you need any extra help with tips or tricks or anything like that. But I think that's a quick overview for the inside. So we'll do the outside a little bit. But thanks again.